Hi, magandang araw sa lahat ng ating mga viewers. My name is Vi Panaga and you're watching Money Matter Show. So, I'm honored for today dahil na pagbigyan ako na makausap ko sa episode na to ang aking KM professor and also my advisor in my project during my Master's in Technology Mani Management course. So, I will give a short uh, inter, uh, brief introduction about him. He's a retired teacher in UP Diliman. He has worked seven years in the government under President Fidel Ramos, and he co-owns a consulting company with dominant market share in the KM niche in the Philippines. So KM stands for Knowledge Management. So, welcome natin si Dr. Serafin Talisayon, or shortly called Apin. So, we always called him Doc Apin or Sir Apin. Ayan, magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. And I'm honored to present to you yung guest natin, none other than my KM Professor, Doc Apin. Sir, uh, magandang araw po. Uh, maraming salamat at napagbigyan na makapanayam kayo. Specifically, sir, uh, I would like to ask first, siyempre, ano po ba yung knowledge management or KM and paano po ba nabuo itong about KM ko? Alright. Yung knowledge management, hindi kong pisayan na uh, sa US at sa Europe mga 1990. So, it's about 30 years old na yan. Okay. Knowledge management or KM, it is a systematic way to use skills or information or relationships to do things better okay. or to do better things. And KM is applicable not only at work but also in daily life because Everybody wants to do things better yes. or to do things faster mm -hmm. or to do things with less mistakes. Mga ganon, no? Yes, Pop. So, you want me to give examples? Yes, sir. Uh, can you give us uh, examples para mas maintindihan, mas uh, ng mga viewers natin? Uh, kasi ang definition na internationally accepted was provided by ISO. Mm -hmm. ISO is the office affiliated with the United Nations mm -hmm. in charge of international standards. Okay. ISO. Sabi ng ISO, knowledge is human or organizational asset enabling effective decision and actions in context. Okay. So enabling effective action or decision. Halimbawa, Example of human asset, mm -hmm. natin yan, skills. Yes. So we have to manage skills so we can do something effectively. Mm -hmm. Example, sa ating school system, mm -hmm. hindi tayo tinuturo on how to relate to our future spouse. Okay. Very important skill yan. So we make mistakes because nobody taught us. We have to learn as we go along. So it's a big, it's a kind of skill mm -hmm. need for better relating to an important person in our life. I'll give you another gap in our education system. Skills, no? Mm -hmm. Ako, natuto ako ng financial literacy along the way. Okay. Walang ganyan sa school system, eh, very important yan, ano? So, yeah, skills, no? How to manage skills. Yes. And then information, how to manage information. Okay, another example. Uh, many years ago, my mother-in-law died. Okay. But my wife was abroad. Oh. So, I don't know what to do. Uh, I, I don't have a checklist. I don't have a manual, no? So, I have to go to the hospital, 
uh, get several copies of the uh, the certificate. I have to be there to sign something when the body of my mother-in-law was picked up by the uh, ano by the ano tawag doon yung uh, yung funeral funeral pa, pa, ano funeral services funeral service uh. so I have I don't know what to do uh, how do I select the right uh, uh, ano uh, coffin uh -huh. or Anong yalagay ko sa obituary? Anong unahin ko? Pagkatapos, I have to have one copy to the mortuary, another, uh, sorry, sa, dun sa funeral parlor, another copy sa local government. Oh. Ano namin gagawin? I don't know. Ano, as, anong sinilalagay kong pangalan sa obituary? No, I have to recall kung sino si Naku. I don't have the information for effective action. Mm -hmm. So, that's another asset information for effective action. No? Okay, uh, another example is relationships. Okay. Asset din yun eh, asset. Okay. If you have the right relationship or working relationship, you can do something effectively. For example, very common example, when I was in the US, uh, when we are driving across the U.S., uh -oh. sa mga highway sa U.S. na hindi namin alam, somebody has to be the driver and somebody has to be the navigator. Yes. Nakatingin sa mapa. Kasi yung driver, hindi pwede tingin sa mapa. No? So, hindi pwede maka... Pag nakalampas ka sa exit, naku, ang layo. Babalik ka ng ilang miles. No? Anyway, so yun ang example ng KM, Knowledge Management. And many people are doing KM, but they don't call it KM. Not aware. They are not aware it's KM, but in KM, we are doing it systematically. Okay. So basically, sir, based on sa mga shinere nyo, ba, as you have mentioned, yung KM is a systematic way na gagamitin natin yung skills and knowledge natin to do things better. Like yung binigay niyo example using the information and yung pati yung relationship mismo. Uh, so, ano po sir yung pinaka basic skills needed for KM? Well, uh, dalawa. Okay. You have to recognize assets. Okay. Kasi meron kang asset na nalimutan mo na. <laughs> yung pala pwede mong pagkakitaan. Okay. Mga ganun, no? Uh -oh. uh, Recognizing assets and one asset that we fail to recognize is working relationships. Okay, working relationships. Because you can do things better, mm -hmm. certain things better if you have the right working relationship. Halimbawa, uh, example ko sa, sa, sa government. Mm -hmm. sa, sa government kasi, they have to get release of the money from DBM. Yes. Kahit na na-allocate ng Congress pagka release sa so DBM authorized ng release ng pera sa So, an important working relationship will be meron kang kakilala doon sa loob ng DBM. Okay. Na ano, pers almost personal relationship na pwedeng mong tawagan and so on, ano mga ganun, ano? So, relationships are very important. So, number one is recognizing assets. Okay. Managing them. Okay. The second most important is anong kailangan ng customer? Hmm. Anong kailangan ng gamit ng knowledge? Anong kailangan ng user? Hmm. You have to know how to listen. Okay. You cannot guess what is needed by the customer. Mm -hmm. So, number one is Recognize your assets. Yes. You know, supply. Mm -hmm. Number two, listening to your customers. Okay. You know, demand. Yes. And then matching supply and demand. Mm, yes. So, sa economy, sir, di ba? The law of supply and demand. Mm -hmm. Sir, can you explain about knowledge for poverty elevation? Uh, ito, eh, it's, an, it's, a, it's a book. Uh, e-book 
which was the result of a collaboration between my company, CCLFIR, Community and Corporate Learning for Innovation, and uh, uh, Philippine uh, uh, FP. Anyway, the biggest foundation in the Philippines that gives anti-poverty project uh, uh, funds. No? And they have, at that time, they have already funded more than 900 community projects, the poorest communities. Because they have several billion pesos in, in, their, in their bank. And yung earnings niya, yung ginagamit nila for funding, ano, uh, giving grants no, sa mga communities that are very poor para alleviate their poverty. And so ang ginawa namin, hinanap namin out of 900 plus, sampung most successful projects. Okay. And ang tanong namin, ano nangyari dun sa sampu? Mm -mm. What? Unique. Why? Why are they the most successful? Mm -hmm. Our finding is this: because the project ginamit yung mga pre-existing assets of the skills and relationships and so on of the community. Okay. The famous Grameen Bank sa Bangladesh mm -hmm. successful yon kasi. Ang mga umaandar doon, mga housewives, sila nagpapahiram ng pera. Eh, yung mga housewives, kilala nila kung sino yung bad borrowers and good borrowers. At saka, ano eh, mapapahiya yung kanilang kapitbahay pagka hindi nagbayad ng, ano eh, ng amortization sa, ano eh, sa utang. Ano? So, uh, relationships eh. No? Relationships, very important. Pagkatapos, yung mga skills, no? So, meron silang basic skills, no? Uh, basic uh, accounting skills, no? Kasi Grameen Bank is a, hmm. a, is a kind of lending institution at the, the grassroots, no? And it is not a matter of, in other words, yung mga successful anti-poverty projects were able to use the, the infusion of tangible assets or money from from the foundation together with their intangible assets yung kanilang human capital yung kanilang relationship capital and so on meaning you have to recognize halimbawa another success factors mga communities mahusay ang kanilang relationship with the mayor yes so nakita ng mayor ba ang ganda ng project nila so siya suportahan ng mayor. Pagkatapos, pagtapos na yung project, kuminsan yung mayor, nag allocate ng pera from the local government to sustain the project. Sometimes it happens. No? So, ano yan? Relationship. Good relationship with the, with the mayor or with the barangay captain. Yeah. Relationships can help you do things better. Okay. So, sir, uh, based dun sa uh, example nyo, ha, basically, nagamit talaga yung KM with dun sa mga projects nila for poverty, knowledge of poverty elevation. This is yung, ginabanggit nyo, you have to recognize yung assets and then yung building yung sa relationship talaga mahalaga as well as yung sa matching ng supply and demand. So, sir, can you specifically provide us example in real life how KM can be applied kung ano pa yung naisip nyo pinakasimple that our viewers can also apply in themselves para sa kanilang family and as well as na makapag-provide din sila ng impact sa iba. Okay. Um, they can use the Ikigai formula. Mm -hmm. Ikigai is a Japanese word. Okay. It means your life purpose. Actually, Ikigai is a word from Okinawa. Mm -hmm. Okinawa, uh, mga islands yan south of sa southern part ng Japan. Mm -hmm. Okinawans, they are famous for being very productive, very long-lived, maraming mga 100 years old plus dyan, and very happy people. Mm -hmm. And 
they're wondering, bakit kaya ang daming matatanda dyan na 80, 90, nagkatrabaho pa? Yes, no? Uh -oh. So, ang sabi nila, one of their secret is ikigay. Ikigay. So, ikigay, alright. Yung mga nakikinig ngayon, remember this, no? You have to answer four questions sa ikigay. Mm -hmm. Number one, make a list of those things that you love to do. You want, you love to bake, mm -hmm. love to advise people, on their life problems, you love gardening, what do you love to do? Yung gusto mo gusto mo gawin, no? Yes. Hindi ka itulak, gagawin mo talaga, no? Okay, list number one. List number two. What are the things that, that, that you do that you are very good at? Hmm, skills. Yung mga kaibigan mo, yung mga kapitbahe mo, Ano? Humihingi ng tulong sa iyo pagka pagka ganyan, ano? Oh, it si ano, magaling magano. Magaling mag-repair ng pan ng uh, electrician niyan, magaling mag-repair ng mga electrical problems bahay, ganyan. So what are the things that you do very well? Yes. Okay. List number three. What are the things that you do that you can be paid for? Okay. Tatlo, no? Yes. Tatlong listahan yan. Eh, hindi naman pare-pareho yung mga yan, di ba? Yes. <laughs> like to do what you love to do, what you enjoy doing, hmm. number two. What you are very good, you are expert in doing. Hmm. Expert, yes. Hmm? Oh, super magaling ka magluto ng ano ng uh, puchero or ginatang ano ginatang mais o mga gano. Number three, what are the things that you do that can be paid for? Okay. It may be something that you're doing now, nakakasweldo ka, or it may be something that you're not doing. Mm. So you have okay. to... Anything that you you do or you, you can do that you can be paid for. Mm -hmm. least, okay. So look at those three lists. Ano yung na, 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 common dito sa tatlo? Ano yung nasa one, two, and three na nandun sa lahat tatlo? Oh, okay. Meron isa, may dalawa, may tatlo, may apat na na entry na nandun sa tatlo. Okay? Alright. And then number four. Yung one or two or three na nandudun sa tatlong listahan, pare-pareho nandudun, tanungin mo. Ano-ano uh -huh. dyan ang kailangan ng mundo? What does the world need? Meaning, pagka ginawa mo yan, ako, magpapasalamat sa'yo yung maraming tao. Uh -huh. Tutupin mo yung ginawa mo. Talagang ano, uh, eh, you will be praised at saka ibabalita sa ibang tao pagkatapos talagang gusto nila happy sila. It's making them happy, making them fulfilled. What the world needs. Okay. Pag nahuli mo yun, yung, up, yung sa apat na tanong na yun, yun ang iyong ikigay. Oh, okay. When you do it, when you do your ikigay, mm -hmm. you have the motivation to do it. You don't need anyone to push you because you, you love to do it and you can do it very well and you will make money out of it and people will thank you because the world needs it mm -hmm. so you're happy and productive mm -hmm. it's no longer work. Mm -hmm. work is now work is now something that you you enjoy doing so hindi mas sa trabaho, tonto ha, pagka Friday. <laughs> sa Amerika, God, it's Friday. TGIF. Kasi, ayaw nila yung trabaho nila, so pag Friday na, ay, salamat, tapos na yung trabaho, pwede na akong mag, 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 mag happy, happy. Pagdating ng Monday, nako, ayan na, trabaho na naman. Pagka ginagawa mo yung ikigay mo, wala kang ganong attitude. 
Pagigising sa umaga, madil, mabilis kang gumising kasi gusto mong gawin na yung gusto mong gawin eh. So, my advice is this. Discover your ikigai. And when you discover it, nako, you will be a happy and productive person and probably even a very wealthy person. Wow. Thank you so much for that uh, wisdom, sir. No, Sobrang... I, ano ka lang, sir, uh, ako mismo na amazed. Uh, number one, di ba, yung lagi sinasabi, ano yung gustong gusto mong gamin? Yung love mo na gawin. Love. Compared to that you have mentioned is your expertise. Expertise. Expertise is ano dun sa mga ginagawa mo na pwede kang mabayaran. Saleable. Saleable. Sa tatlong nabigay nyo po is, it's like you have to create yung Venn diagram na kung ano yung magiging common dun sa tatlong. Oo. Uh -uh something na magkakaroon ng impact. Yun yung nagiging number four. Tama po ba? Tama. And then, on discovering yung ikigay mo, that is very uh, important. Now, sir, relating to what you have shared, discovering yung ikigay, kasi um, using the KM would be something na applying it in our personal aspect and professional aspect would be something na magiging sustainable. Tama po ba? But um, ang pinakamahirap dyan, for sure, is how to discover yung ikigay para maging sustainable yung pag-apply ng KM. Can you at least give us some, yung mga ginagawa nyo na meron ba kayong pinagawang routine or being mindfulness para mas magiging aware kayo deeply dun sa sarili nyo? Sustainability. Yes, to make that KM sustainable growth for in both aspects, in your personal and professional. So, makakatulong din to, hindi lang sa mga individuals, kundi sa mga companies and organizations as well. You know, ang problema, ako kasi, hmm. huli ko yung sagot dyan, tanda na ako. Okay. Sana, nalaman ko yung sagot sa tanong mo, nung college student pa ako. Hmm. So, yan ang isang gap sa ating education system. Yeah. Uh, and one of the people that, one of the authors na nakatulong sa akin para makuha ko yung, mahuli ko yung sagot dyan sa sustainability, uh -huh. si Robert Kiyosaki. Uh, okay, give me one minute, I will get something. Okay, sir. This is a game to, to give young people, even elementary people, elementary grade, the basics of financial literacy. Dalawa yan, meron for kids tsaka meron for adults. Mm -hmm. And game. So I recommend that, that game. And to summarize for sustainability, Uh, sa umpisa, when you are young and after, after graduation, siyempre, magahan ng trabaho, no? Yes. So, ang unang-unang nasa otak ng mga graduates, trabaho. Nothing wrong with that, no? Ang problema, ang kanilang mindset, they will be employees their, their whole life. Exactly. I think that is a very wrong mindset. Because that mindset is based on working for money. Mm. Pero sabi ni Kiyosaki, you must be smarter. You must find ways and means to make money work for you. Ano may yun yun? Hmm. You read Robert Kiyosaki and you play cash flow. I have read ano cash flow. Ang ating mga passive income, mga ganyan, and so on. Ha? The cash flow quadrant, sir. It's one of the books that I have read. 
that opened my mindset that employment is not the only source para dun sa it's not the only it's a very it's a common pero it's oh. not a, really the best way hmm. the best way is sa umpisa employment muna yes then gradually you will you will have either a business or investment hmm. investment wala kang gagawin eh ilalagay mo lang ng pera pero mababa ang returns diyan eh ha huh? the highest return will be treasury bill no low risk pero nako tatagain ka ng banko no you are making the banks rich no so as you go along go into business hmm. entrepreneurship agree kaya ngayon maraming nawalan ng trabaho maraming nawalan ng income kaya one of my concerns kaya naglagay ako ng ano eh sa Facebook ng new economy explorations eh hmm. because of the pandemic how do we have these poor people uh, gain extra income. Mm -hmm. eh, ang unang unang problema yung mindset eh. True. They don't have an entrepreneurial mindset. Yeah. And uh, nag-uumpisa yung problema sa mga professors. Mm, yes. Uh, I was talking to a a professor sa College of Engineering na she became dean and later on she became undersecretary sa DOST. Mm -hmm. Ang inyong mga ang inyong mga courses for employment. Mm -hmm. Not for entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. Create kayo ng stream kahit na 5% or 10% who are going into entrepreneurship mm -hmm. and who will uh, go into innovation and entrepreneurship. Wala, wala nang one. Uh, yung kanilang mga ano, yung kanilang mga thesis, sabi ko, if you want to identify topics for your masteral thesis, mm -hmm. pumunta kayo sa mga factory. Ano yung problema dyan? Yan ang gawin yung thesis. Baka bigyan pa kayo ng, ano, eh, ng pondo, ng factory, because you are solving their problem. Tsaka baka ma-employ pa yung, ano, yung, yung graduate after one. So, wala sa otak ng mga professor yan. Wala. It's the, the, the assumption is they are training engineers to be employees their whole life. Except TMC. TMC is 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 that they don't forget entrepreneurship. Kaya marami sa mga estudyante sa TMC mga may ambition to be or either they are already you know entrepreneurs. Okay. Thank you, sir. No, uh, tama po yun. Uh, with regards to that, kasi na using the KM, it will help them na mas maintindihan yung root cause on managing their finances. Paano po natin ngayon uh, isha share with our viewers? Sure, hindi naman lahat alam agad about the concept of KM. How does KM can help them? managing their finances especially we are now facing pandemic so hindi natin alam kung hanggang kailan to tali mawawala unless meron vaccine nga sa COVID-19 na to and of course it also applies dun sa mga companies kasi marami din pong syempre nawalan lahat uh, affected yung website mo ikaw may mas maraming alam dyan eh Jovi <laughs> <laughs> ba't mo ko tinatanong ha Sir, I would just like to share po, di ba, yung applying KM para mamalis natin yung personal finance natin as well as also dun sa mga companies and organizations. Using KM, tama po ba ako na uh, you have to understand kasi kung ano yung asset mo. So, applying it in personal uh, management, dealing with our finances, is yung isa sa mga... And uh, nagawa ko po about the money matter, so would be understanding Pinoy mindset. So, sir, in your perspective, po, how our viewers can apply KM in managing their finances? Namakatulong din po sa mga companies. Uh, ano yung kailang mga skills na ano marketable? Mm -hmm. So, bakam yung silang skills na. Nandiyan lang, pero hindi nila nagiragamit. 
o hobby lang or hilig lang pero it can be marketable so look for those skills that uh, they can be paid for mm -hmm. so that's one mm -hmm. one um so internet maraming mga information on ano eh, on how to go into home based uh, business mm -hmm. so um, Anyway, uh, I'm feeling that the government should help, uh, especially after you know this pandemic. This should help uh, uh, many Filipinos go into uh, home-based online export of services. Mm. Services, no, not not goods, no. So they stay at home, but they earn dollars. How do you do that? Give an example from my own personal experience. In 1983, uh, na-assassinate si Ninoy. Mm -hmm. 1983, nung assassinate si Ninoy, mm -hmm. uh, maraming mga, ano, maraming dollars na umalay sa bansa. Mm -hmm. They really left the country and nagkaroon ng inflation, tumaas yung peso dollar rate. Mm -hmm. So, pag mataas ang inflation, uh, you have to buy now instead of buying later. Yes. And okay. I buy everything now. Mabubulok lang yung mga foodstuffs, eh, no? Yeah. What I did, because I have, uh, at the time, I have uh, a diesel uh, jeep and, uh, and a driver. I went into trading. Yeah. Uh, I took orders and uh, I, you know, I nag research ako mm -hmm. no where is the cheapest uh, eggs in the entire metro manila where is the cheapest place for chicken mm -hmm. and uh nasaan yung mga wholesale place no mm -hmm. uh, uh, well of course merong bagsakan diyan sa ano sa may uh edsa sa ano sa sa north but meron isa pang bagsakan sa lampas ng konti sa Kalamba, mm -mm. mga agricultural goods. I have a, an auntie who owns a market stall selling uh, meat products. So she gives me, you know, meat products, wholesale price. Wala hindi niya ako tinutubuan. Mm -hmm. uh, so I went into trading. Mm -hmm. eh, you know, I'm a professor. Oh, wala, wala akong pakalam dyan. Uh, I want to learn how, you know. But after one or two years, uh, I stopped it because medyo nag-ease up na yung, ano, yung inflation. Uh -oh. I was not really an entrepreneur. I was just a very defensive entrepreneur, no? <laughs> and then, uh, siyempre, meron akong steady income as professor. Uh, it's a very low income. Uh -oh. That's why I earn more money from consultancy from the very beginning. Uh -oh. So consultancy is also a form of business. You have to listen to customers. You have to give them what they want. You have to learn how to negotiate. You learn how to, you know, uh, it was a learning thing for me. Mm. So, the, the question is, what can you do that you can be paid for? Now, maybe you're not yet being paid for now. That could be the basis for enterprise. Uh, sir, um, thank you for that wisdom. So, sir, can you share more about yung KM online courses nyo? Is KM for everybody and how does KM benefit us in every aspect in our lives? Well, yun na, ang formula is use your skills mm -hmm. to earn dollars without going abroad. Mm -hmm. Can you earn dollars while staying at home? You can. You just have to be very creative. So, ano yung pwede mong gawin na that can do that? And for me, since I'm a teacher, mm -hmm. uh, in 2013, we started an online KM practitioner certification course. And, you know, you have to always listen to customer and give them what they want. And if they do, they will advertise your product for you. They'll be very happy. Uh, since 2013, we have 19 classes. We have more than 200 graduates from 33 countries. Your current class 
the 19th class, we now have graduates uh, uh, across nine time zones. No, sorry, uh, students across nine time zones. Okay. Ang problema namin yung mga Zoom meeting, ano, oras na yung Zoom meeting. Eh, Nagkakaiba. <laughs> iba, natutulog, iba na. <laughs> so, exactly. But it's an example of earning dollars while staying at home. Yes. And one of my former students in TMC, uh, you know him, uh, Juby, si Tibo Malilin. Ano kami niluluto? Another scheme for earning dollars or staying at home. Wow. We are developing a, a new product. Mm, that's nice. Yeah. So, this is the formula. Use your skills. Mm -hmm. Use your work to earn dollars while staying at home. Agree. Totally agree with that, sir. With that, sir, um, I ano ka lang po, di ba? You have created the private FB group, uh, the New Economy Explorations. So I'm very honored na in-invite nyo ako to join the group. And as I have checked, uh, it's a space where members can pull their experience and insight to help each other survive and excel in the global economic changes brought about by the pandemic and also to contribute towards shaping the emerging new economic order. So, sir, tell us more about it. Paano mo siya, syempre, paano mo siya na-create? Na uh, what is part your idea? And then, ano yung pinaka-main goal na in, gusto mong ma-achieve? Very specific main goal. So, share about us lang po yung about dun sa... Hmm. Ako, uh, hindi ako nag-Facebook. Uh, I have a Facebook uh, page, but I go there maybe once every two months. Naka, naka. Uh, hindi ako, ano, I'm not hooked into social media. Meron din akong sa, ano, sa Instagram. Uh, but I'm not hooked. I don't want to be hooked. No? Starting March, nung mag-upisa yung pandemic, I could sense that there are people with problems. Mm -hmm. Money problems are psychological problems. Mm -hmm. Some of my students uh, are very honest. They email me. They're really uh, depressed. They are. They cannot function uh, properly because they are afraid. Mm -hmm. They are worried. There are many things. Uh, mm -hmm. So I went to Facebook and I posted a series of of posts mm -hmm. on how to manage fear because yes. I have my own way of managing fear. Yes. And but maraming mga likes and loves and maraming mga comments and so on. Sabi ko ba? Mukang useful itong pinopost ko. So ang ginawa ko na create ako ng website. Mm. Ilagay yung mga ano yung mga series on how to manage fear. Yeah. I have another series uh, how to boost your immune system. So ang nangyari dumami yung series tapos nilagay ko lahat sa website ang pangalan ng website Mid midwives of the new earth because I believe that this pandemic is paving the way for the new earth. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that, that was March. Last June, I had a dream. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I did not tell this to many people, but I'll tell this here. Mm -hmm. In my dream, I saw the US dollar. Meron nakatatak na new version. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sabi ko, magising ako, mm, there will be a, a reset a global reset in the economic reset because of this pandemic. Now, I'm not going to wait. I'm going to wait. I don't want to wait for things to happen to me. I'm going to make things happen. Yeah. Huh? Yung former President Angara, yung Senator Angara was President of UP. And meron siyang, I remember, meron siyang sinabi sa amin on. There are three kinds of people. 
Okay. Those who watch things happen. Mm -hmm. Those who make things happen. Mm -hmm. And those who don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, I want to help. I want to, you know, uh, ako kasi, uh, I have no more financial responsibilities. Uh, my kids are all grown up. Yes. At my stage, you know, um, the moment your bunso finishes college, mm -hmm. you enter a different financial stage in your life you are suddenly free to do things that you cannot do. Okay. Suddenly you, are, you have more financial freedom. And uh, that's where I am now. Um, you know, making money is no longer number one in my list. It's still there. Hindi mo awala yan hanggang meron tayong katawan na kailangan kumain at saka mabuhay. But, Hindi niya number one. Iba na yung number one sa akin. I want to help people. Okay, then impact. Yes. I want to contribute. I want to help people. Uh, so, that's why I created that uh, new economy exploration. And I am going to post very soon yung result. Ang ganda ng result ng ano, nung education problem cluster. Wow. <laughs> oh, oh, ang ganda. So, June yan. June, July, August, September, three months pa lang. Uh, it's a very young group. Mm -hmm. 92 members. So, mm -hmm. we'll see how, what these 92 members can do. A lot of connections and so on. So, let us see. Okay. Sir, can you give us yung pinaka-highlight na lang, although napaka-short period pa lang no, about the new economy explorations? Ano na yung nakikita mong highlights and na masasabi mong na-achieve na or about to achieve? Parang tidbits lang po. Well, uh, number one, <clears throat> yung isang subgroup uh -huh. na, na I am co-managing with Tibo has come up with the uh, low-cost, high-impact solutions sa uh, education problems. Mm -hmm. And I already wrote a paper, pinadala ko kanina kay ano, Kitibo for his review. And then after that, papadala namin dun sa 24 out of the 92 who contributed for their review. Mm -hmm. And then we will release it to the public. But even before it's released to the public, umandar na ako eh. Okay. <laughs> uh, si, si, you know, si Andre Fournier sa Davao, mm -hmm. may solution. Na pwedeng gamitin ng mga schools and teachers to help students na they are very poor, they don't have computers sa bahay. Eh, ngayon, online learning na ngayon eh. Mm -hmm. O, paano ngayon? Kawawa naman sila, wala silang computer. So, meron solution si, si Andre. Si Joey, meron din siyang solution. Two different solutions, no? So, ang ginawa ko, last September 13, I connected uh, Andre with a group of 15 teachers from UE, PUP, and Kalinga State University. Tapos, the following September 20, itong Sunday na nakaraan, kinunek ko na naman yung mga teachers doon kay Joy Wee. They were so inspired with what Joy is doing. And then, ito maganda. After the Sunday meeting, in, yung contact ni Joy na nasa BPO uh -huh. uh, decided to donate used computers to Kalinga State University. Kasi yung mga BPO companies, ang dami nilang computer which they renew, they replace with new ones. So, yung ibang BPO companies, they part of their you know, uh, corporate uh, 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 social responsibility they give away the computer for free. So, yung isang BPO, they decided to give it to Kalinga State University. Mm -hmm. Pero, uh, dapat bibilhan ng ano, mga bagong peripherals. No? So, and the peripherals cost 2.8K per unit. So, affordable. affordable. So, I, I connected them. So, it's, it's moving now. There's another group. Uh, 
it's a small group. Uh, ang mga members dyan, si, si John Borromeo, si Al Isles, ako. And then there's a, a famous Filipina healer in, in Moscow, si Joe. So we are meeting. And what we are doing is we are preparing a, bis a bankable business proposal for seaweed farmers in Cebu. Wow, nice. Featuring for, for P. Yeah. Profit, planet, uh, no, people, planet, profit, psyche. Mm -hmm. Kasi yung people, planet, profit, yan ang sustainable development eh. Okay. Equal time. Triple bottom line. Huh. Kaya lang, walang, ano, walang spiritual, ano, walang values formation. So, psyche. So, 4P instead of 3P. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I am now in contact with someone from the Philippine Carabao Center. This is a government agency under the Department of Agriculture. They, they help Carabaos, Carabao farmers, you know, they collect the milk every morning and then they convert into useful products. No? Uh, so uh, they described yung ginagawa, ginagawa namin preparation for seaweed farmers Cebu. Maybe you can do something for the Carabao farmers. Right. Uh, the key dyan is this. The farmers must co-own the processing plant. Hmm. Silang may are ng processing plant. So they have the incentive to give the, the ano. It's actually integrating, vertical, vertically integrating the supply chain, okay? Hmm. So, uh, it, we, we must have a prepare a bankable proposal which can be funded by socially responsible investors. Kasi may mga, ano eh, may mga, there are many socially responsible investors, mga impact investors na they want to make money but in a good way for the environment and for people. Okay. So they are very, ano, they are very fun. So sila pwede magpondo ng mga ganyan. So that's another part. Pero hindi ko pa yan ina-announce masyado sa, sa grupo. Because very, ano pa, it's still in its infancy. Yes. Then there's a third group. Uh, Nagwe brainstorm na kami on drafting a proposal to the Philippine government mm -hmm. to establish a department of home welfare or department of family welfare. Because uh, work from home, study from home, everything is happening now in the ano, eh, sa, sa home. Eh. Oh. And the families are burdened. No, they, they need computers, they need space, they need good internet. Maraming mga kailangan yan, eh. And then they must be helped in small scale business and so on. Tapat yung mga utilities should not be, you know, uh, wala dapat na predatory. Anyway, we are preparing the position paper. And meron ng, meron ng ano, si Bang X Mundo, who works sa NSC, she'll be the one to, she'll be the channel to mm -hmm. the government. Okay, yes, yes. She agreed already. She agreed she yung parang go between na papadala niya sa gobyerno. Ah. Let us see. Wow, so brang ano sir, uh, in a very span of a uh, short period lang, madami na agad nag ma, nakikita niyo na possibility na maa-accomplish. So ang ibig sabihin kasi nito, you have to start something. Hindi naman agad na perfect, pero kailangan gumawa ka ng action, take action kahit very small step yung simple ginawa nyo lang from your idea ginawa nyo agad na take action na kayo and then from that uh within from june lang siya di ba june july august september so with the sort july august three months na uh, dami na po agad na ano nakikita natin na possibilities na maitutulong hmm. so sir, maraming maraming ano maraming ideas from many people may yeah. uh, creating a network na yung Something that you need could be provided somebody. Para jigsaw puzzle na everything will be will happen to fill in at the right spot at the right time. Tapo so nagko connect connect po sila. Kaya mas mabilis din yung pag ano niya progress niya. Sir, any word of advice tip to all our viewers on how to survive during this crisis and excel? Well, unang unang take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. yeah. Especially kung they are 90% of them, they're worrying, they're afraid. Mm -hmm. Take care of themselves. They cannot function if 
ano yung kanilang makina eh ano may ano may may problema so they have to take care of themselves muna muna and then uh yan yeah, ikigay guy in other words you have to find meaning in what you you do mm -hmm. you have to have a direction and this is not something that your boss will one or a priest will tell you no yes. it's not something that your parent uh, no no it's it is to come from innate within you eh. it's already there eh. uh, eh. your ikigai is not coming from outside it's coming from within you mm -hmm. so what is innate to you and um uh in fact we have a an ebook that has a, more details about discovering what is innate with you. Mm -hmm. Discover your creative pathway. Because people are very creative. Yes. They're innately creative. And uh, this ebook we are giving away for free. It, it's, it took two and a half years to produce because there's so many people involved, no? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I was about to, three years ago, I was about to start writing it. And then, mm -hmm. so, early in the morning, uh, I, I, I get insights. And one morning when I was starting to write that book, so insight, eh, teka, hindi lang ikaw ang author niya, maraming author niya. <laughs> ah, ganun ba? So anyway, nag-create ako ng, ano, website, and then 30 to 40 people was there, and then we co-created, you know, and then parang kurang pa another website, another group, Eventually, uh, there were eight co-authors who wrote that book. It's a free book. It's downloadable from the Midwest of the New World. Mm -hmm. Discover, follow your creative pathway in pursuing your, your life mission. Because if you have your ikigai, your life mission, your life purpose, everything will fall into place. Okay. So that's my advice. Take uh, care of yourself and make sure what you are doing is meaningful. And meaning can be provided by your religion, you know. Some people uh, find meaning in in linking what they're doing with their religious beliefs. Uh -huh. Nothing wrong with that. Away-away mga religion, yun ang di maganda. Yes. Sa Middle East, nagpapatayan because of religion. No? Uh -huh. uh, Ako, uh, I'm not a religious person. I don't go to church. No. I go direct to God. Kaya yung isa sa mga Facebook series ko mm -hmm. is on how to better listen to God. Eh. Discernment. Two way prayer, sir. Nandudun sa uh, website, Midwest for the Nerd, how to better listen to God. And all, all of these are not theory or textbook, no. Practices ko yan. Mm -hmm. Because if you are doing something that you know, naka align doon sa taas, tutulong. Maraming darating na tulong. Kaya yung mga e-book na yan sinasabi ko sa inyo, ang daming dumating na ano, they, this, this, the right people will come at the right time. Mm -hmm. And then things will happen. There is no coincidence. If you are aligned, mm -hmm. naka align ka sa taas, there's no coincidence. There will be, a, in fact, there will be a lot of assistance coming. You're not alone. There are many people helping, oh. visible and invisible. Wow, I agree to that, sir. As in super na, ulitin lang natin, sir, no? yung pinakaki talaga is to take care of yourself, love yourself. Para sa ganon, makakatulong ka rin talaga, hindi lang sa sarili mo oh. and family mo. And to have an impact talaga. And I so love yung sinare mo sa akin, sir, na that was March 25, you have given me the e-copy of your Healing Our Divided Planets. Mm -hmm. uh, sobrang ano sa akin yun, sobrang alak ng impact. Kasi uh, yung mga books na sinare mo, it's not theoretical, but more on what you have... Experiential. Yes, what you have experienced. Inintindi mo siya, ni-reflect mo, 
So, para mas magiging absorbable and mas applicable sa kung sino man yung nagbabasa noon. So, mm -hmm. super thank you sir for all those na binibigay mo sa amin sa mission mo na talagang you wanted to help and to share yung wisdom mo based on your experience then Like yung nabanggit niya sir, di ba? Yung, uh, yung how to check yung ano natin, yung gift natin to create an impact. So, lahat yung you gave it free. Doon sa website nyo, tama po ba? Lahat na kita doon, uh, pwede i-download ng mga viewers natin. Hmm, ibigay mo sa kanila yung uh, link ng website, yung Midwives of the New Earth. Okay, sir. Freely downloadable doon yung mga yun. We are giving it away for free. Yung mga 8 co-authors, saka 30 plus contributors ng pangalawang book, mm -hmm. they agree to give it away for free. Okay, sir. So, yun, Parang nasaludo ko nila. Mm -hmm. Isang website lang yun, sir. Tama po ba? Nasa isang website. Isa lang. Isang web. Lahat na doon sa isang website. Midwives of the New Earth. Midwives of the New Earth. Okay, sir. Mm. So, any last word? Meron pa ba kayong gustong sabihin sa mga viewers natin? Go to the website and uh, if you like it, uh, uh, they can email me. You can give, you can share the viewers my email address. Mm -hmm. So, I'm willing to help if I can. Yeah. So, thank you for this opportunity, uh, uh, Juvi, for mm -hmm. uh, sharing what I can share uh, in this occasion. So. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir, at uh, binigyan mo po ako ng chance to have a conversation with you since I know you are so busy. We are all so busy in every aspect na pinagagawa natin, especially now sa crisis. Na ano ko nga po na, nung normal, busy na tayo, pero mas sobrang busy pala, mas sobrang hectic ngayong na may crisis tayo. And for sure, a lot of our viewers have gained a lot of wisdom and knowledge with my conversation with you. And uh, sana po sa mga viewers natin, kung ano po yung mga natutunan nila, kung ano yung mga key takeaway nila, feel free na isashare nila sa comment and feel free na kung ano po yung mga gusto nyong concerns na you want to reach out to Sir Apin, you have to check yung kanyang website and then we will also post yung website para mas makita nila and then yung contact number nyo Sir, yung email nyo po para they can directly email you for that concern. So Sir, again, thank you very much for sharing thank your you, just time. Thank you also, Juvie. And sa mga viewers natin, marami na naman po tayong natutunan na wisdom from the KM Guru, Dr. Seraphine Talisayon. Number one po natin dyan would be the KM, how we manage our knowledge. And talagang initially, you have really start within yourself. Yun talaga yung pinaka-susi doon. You have to start within yourself. You have to love yourself. And everything that you do should be aligned to the most powerful in its spirit. So, kung sino man yung pinapaniwalaan nyo, if that's your God, so it has to be aligned with yung pinaka-biggest Holy Spirit, yung Creator natin. So, we will share yung website and how you can access yung mga words ni Doc Apin as well as his email address, you can email him. He will surely love to help you kung ano po yung mga concerns ninyo. Share with us kung ano yung pinaka key takeaway, ano yung pinaka tinamaan ka about this conversation, ano yung uh, nakapagparealize sa'yo na Despite crisis, I, uh, you know na makakapag-survive ka na you don't have to wait for somebody or anybody to help you out, pero it should be start within you. Feel free to comment kung ano po yung pinaka-key takeaway and learnings nyo. And if you have any other questions that you wanted to uh, be answered, feel free to comment also and contact us. Again, Maraming salamat po sa panonood nyo hanggang sa muli nating episode dito sa Money Matter Show.